Hi, I'm Joe Ramersa, a singer-songwriter for Silent Hill, and I'm at the Leap Lounge Live. Uh, if you look at your credits, yes. there are a lot of additional voices. Yes. So can you tell us, what are some of the additional voices? Well, basically, uh, you know, I'm a drummer first, okay. musician, and uh, through sound engineering, I've worked my way into various games and anime projects by okay. just being there, and they go, we need somebody. Joe, get in there. Yeah. You know, you deep voice guy. Mm. <laughs> You're very known for uh, songwriting and singing on the Silent Hill soundtrack, right. which has got the scariest monsters. Um, how how did that how did that happen? Well, the same way. I mean, uh, working with a lot of the anime and game projects, this project came in called Silent Hill, and you talk on the Saber from Zero Limit. So Joe, they need uh, somebody to write some lyrics, and they need a lead vo they need a vocalist. We need they needed to audition a female singer and a male singer, and the male singer had to do some chanting. So I said, Oh, I can do chants, you know, you know the scary stuff, you know, deep scary stuff. So I basically auditioned for that and got it, got the game, okay. and it's cool. been it, it was like uh, ten years of. Good songwriting and good fun, and then things change. One more chance. Well, no good. Oh, one more chance. Here it is. This is, this, is this, is, this is the high score this is set. All you, baby. This is the high score set. And you are killing it right now. On she's, she's, or actually, you are being killed. Oh, yeah, I was, I was killed. That's all right. All right. They're there. They're there. We're here at the Lounge Live with yes. Spike Spencer Hi. and Kim McKenzie. Yep. How are you? Um, just doing an average everyday interview. Normal interview. Hanging out. Yeah. It's really my leg. With Sorry. normal personal okay. space. <laughs> Spike, we wanted to ask you about Neon Genesis. Yes. Do, can you wrap your mind around what is happening with it currently? I have no idea. I have not seen three. I have no idea. Um, I after two, I was just amazed, and the the graphics were just so great. I was like, yes! And I actually remember seeing some of the the uh, trailers for it, and I got goosebumps. You know, if it was my Ava unit, you know, my Ava unit. Uh, <laughs> no, that is. It, it was, is. It was yeah. really, really cool. And I just, I, I can't wait. I uh, I haven't had a chance to see anything about 3 yet, so uh, I'm, I'm waiting to find out, you know, like, like so many other people. So. And do people recognize your voice when you speak from the series? No, never. No. <laughs> <laughs> I walk around, I talk like this, and nobody has a clue who I am. So, hi, how are you? I get it. Yeah. I'm Shinji. <laughs> In Kim, you you are a screenwriter who yeah. wrote uh, your new film, Bro, mm -hmm. has Danny Trejo in it? Bro has Danny Trejo and uh, Bo Manley cool. and uh, Scummy Morrison. It's a film about freestyle motocross. And were you into freestyle motocross before you nope. were the... No? <laughs> did, did well, the your thing research? Is, well, the thing is, it was a coming-of-age story. Mm -hmm. So it was um, about a kid who wants to be a part of the cool crowd, and everybody's kind of experienced that at some point. I was born into the cool crowd, so I don't know I what you losers are talking about. I just about. made my own cool crowd. I was like, here's cool yeah. crowd party of one. Yeah, party of one. <laughs> yeah. December, is that right? Yeah, it came out in December okay. through Lionsgate, and it's everywhere. Redbox and iTunes and nice. Walmart. It's very exciting when we Hear saw that? Blockbuster. Redbox, Redbox iTunes. iTunes. Check it. She freaked out at Blockbuster the I other did. night. I did, I squealed. I got super giddy. I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, no, she's a natural, I can tell. Oh. oh. We got one more life. Well, so we follow you yeah. at Kim underscore Kim McKenzie. McKenzie. And then we are also have at Don't Kill Your Date, which yeah. is our pilot that we're producing together. Don't D Kill Your Date. Well, no, that's Twitter. Oh, that's Twitter. Yeah, Twitter is Don't Kill Your D-A-T. D-A-T. Couldn't, couldn't have the last D. Uh -huh. Thanks, Twitter. And so that that's what we're great. working on me. And it's SpikeSpencer.com. Mm. And he's on Twitter, too, at on Twitter. Spike Spencer. Spike Spencer FG. I think, it's, I think it's Spike Spencer. No, it's just, no, Spike, just Spencer. Spike Spencer. It's just Spike Spencer. Just Spike Spencer. Yeah. And I get a fan page of Spike Spencer FG. Because he's freaking genius. Freaking genius. Yeah, so you guys are doing this on purpose. No, no we, we are. We are not that good. <laughs> we swear, Joe just totally glitched. He's so good at Galaga, he glitched it out. And he cannot move at all, but he's not getting hit by anything. So he will easily get the high spot. You cannot harm me. I am in invincible. I will be immortal! Get it! Oh my god! New high score! New high score! Oh, now it stopped. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! oh are you kidding me? 
But you've got the high score. You've got the new high score, so you got to enter your name, obviously. Here. You, you said I feel you. a song coming out. I feel it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we now have a theme song. I've been wanting a theme song for the show. We now have <laughs> <laughs>